Clowns, cut that out. I told you. <laughs> you can't do that to my brother. <laughs> Did you see that, fellas? Now that's comedy. That is. I just did. A, I, I'm doing a movie right now called The Nutty Nut, which has apparently the the biggest pie fight ever staged on film. So this is all very reminiscent of, of what we just saw here. Did you guys have fun on the set? No, nah, didn't oh, like it at all. <laughs> I think there's some icing in your hair. Oh, <laughs> yeah. well, we had we had some. The, we had a, a terrific time on the show, and the best was this lion. I mean, we the, we did a show tell, with a lion, us. and the the lion got loose on the set. And, the, and in this huge cavernous soundstage, nobody knew where the lion was. And so they hustled us off into, into our dressing rooms and stuff. Well, poor old Bill Demarest didn't know that they were working with the lion that, that Uncle day. Uncle Charlie, is that? Yeah, Uncle Charlie. And he walked into this dark soundstage, and he came face to face with this doped up lion, too, which was, you know, and, and he outran the lion, which is what, <laughs> that's what he's a 75-year-old guy. That's, oh, we had, we had a great time. We used to pull a lot of pranks, too. We... Well, one of them actually wasn't a prank. It was an accident that happened around the studio. They have a lot of cats to keep the rats away. And for recreation, my brother and I used to ride bikes around the studio. And one day, we were riding our bikes, and this cat ran right in front of my bike, killed it. And we were like, what do we do? Well, we put it under the soundstage. We figured, you know, in lieu of burying it, we'll leave it there. Well, about a month later, we're filming, and flies start appearing. I mean, not one or two. I'm talking like maybe 10,000 flies. And we're doing scenes, and... These flies being in the dark the whole time are just flying very slowly and be landing on you in scenes, flying into your mouth. And people started keeping records. They'd keep fly squatters on them and they'd bat maybe two or three hundred a day and we'd check the scores at the end of the day. Jeez. Well, Stanley, thanks for that story. Uh, I <laughs> first to say, this is the very first time I've ever gone to a television show. Ooh, okay. And, and it, I... I'm breathless. It's beautiful. I'm enjoying it immensely. Okay, I may start a new career in my retirement <laughs> going to shows. You can see Viola. She gives out the tickets to retired people. Okay. I'm very much interested in the, the Livingston Brothers, and I would like to know, what have you done with your lives? <laughs> well, uh, you we're asking ourselves ten, 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 ten seconds or less. Well, so I've remained an actor and, and continue to act and have a film coming out at the end of the year called The Elf That Saved Christmas, and next year will be The Nutty Nut. So I've stayed in, in the acting business. I've been writing, producing, directing. I wrote a TV pilot for Sherman Hemsley. Um, I just produced a show in L.A. with uh, Kay Ballard. It was at the Henry Fonda Theater, and we're going to be doing a video of that, a 90-minute show, in about six weeks. A quick question for everyone. Might as well start right with Stanley there. Did you save any money from your time as a child star? Yeah, fortunately, I did fairly well. I did manage to salt some away. I was uh -huh. married. That, that didn't help, but <laughs> I managed to recoup from that. I have a clip from an old news clipping from when I first joined the show, and it, and it was a day in court, because as a child, you have to go to court and get your contract approved. And it was said, Barry Livingston was signed for 30 weeks at $250 a week, which, in those days, I guess it was quite a bit of money, but the salaries now are, are so astronomical. It, it, you know. Jimmy, you save any of the bucks? I save some, but due to wonderful management, and fine people, you don't have enough as you should. I mean, I think, in my case, that's the only mistake I've ever made in my whole life, career, whatever, just bad management people. I mean